Hello, welcome back to BioClass Bites. In this video, we are going to talk about mitosis and its stages. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. In the previous video, we've talked about the definition of cell cycle and its different uh, types. So for prokaryotes, that will be binary fission. While for eukaryotes, we have interface and then the actual um, uh, cell division. But um, we've also talked about the different stages of interface. But for this video, we will be focusing on mitosis and its different stages. So the word mitosis was actually derived from the Greek word mitos, which means thread. That would actually refer to the different spindle fibers that are very no noticeable during mitosis. So mitosis is a process that takes place in the nucleus of a dividing cell. So as early as now, I want to establish that both mitosis and meiosis are actually division of the nucleus. The division of the entire cell is actually called cytokinesis. So mitosis is the division of the nucleus of the, of the dividing cell and involves a series of steps resulting into, and this is the product of mitosis, two nuclei. That's the plural of nucleus. Two new nuclei each having the same number of chromosomes as the parent nucleus. So this is very important because this is where mitosis differs from meiosis. In mitosis, the product is um, two new nuclei with the same number as the parent chromosome. While in meiosis, the product are four new nuclei with half of the number of chromosomes um, from the parent cell. So this is, um, these are the different stages or steps of mitosis. Um, so we have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. To help you remember, just use the acronym PMAT. P-M-A-T. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Now we will look into the different stages as we go along. So again, to give emphasis, the primary result or the product of mitosis is the division of the parent's genome or parent's genetic material into two daughter cells, into two nuclei, which will then divide into, which will then be distributed to two daughter cells. So we define genome as the number of chromosomes or, or tightly coiled DNA that contain the genetic information of that organism or of that cell. So that the genome is the entire chromosome set of that organism. Because each resultant daughter cell should be genetically identical to the parent cell, the parent must first make a copy of each chromosome before mitosis. If you still remember during S phase of interphase, that's the time when DNA replication occurs. So in before, before mitosis, the parent cell must have two copies of the chromosome that will be distributed, chromosome set that will be distributed to the two nuclei of the two daughter cells. So this um, is actually a, 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 an image of a cell undergoing um, mitosis, and this one is specifically in metaphase. As you can see here, the chromosomes, that those are the ones in blue, are being pulled, uh, are being placed at the center. They have arrived at the center by the help of this uh, uh, green um, pigmented or green uh, colored spindle fibers. So these spindle fibers look like threads, and this is why um, mitosis was named mitosis from the Greek word mitos, meaning thread. So I recommend that you visit this um, animation, um, animation from Cells Alive, um, Animal Cell Mitosis. I'll provide the link in the description below. I also recommend that you watch this video. Very important, very short, um, very short um, animation of mitosis, but it will explain everything that we will need to know. I'll provide the link in the description below. And this one is a, a longer description, but still very important as um, I recommend that you watch this video entitled Cell Cycle and Mitosis 3D Animation. Again, I'll provide the link in the description below. So these are the stages of mitosis. So again, use the acronym PMAT to help you remember. So 
if um so going uh going back to the cell cycle um we will start the stages of mitosis right after the cell underwent gap 2 okay so if you still remember during gap 2 the cell prepares everything it will need for mitosis during gap 2 the cell assembles uh, all the all the or or all the structures it will need for cell division so right after gap 2 the first stage of mitosis is prophase okay so here the spindle fibers appear okay so those are the thread like structures we've talked about this and the chromosomes condense because well because um, mitosis um, the chromosomes are just in their in their um, uncoiled Okay, un uncoiled, uncondensed form. So they are just long strands of DNA. However, they condense into chromosomes, and we've talked about chromosomes. These are tightly packed DNA around proteins and tightly packed into this X like structure. And the reason why they do that is because it makes it easier for them to, to be divided during mitosis. So imagine um, if you are going to transport a very very long thread a very very long um, rope okay are you really are you really going to bring it with you uncoiled just like that with a with a, a very long rope around no in order for you to transport that rope you have to coil it around okay to make it uh, smaller and to make it more condensed so that it will be easier for you to bring it uh, with you so that's what um cells do in order for the for the dna for the for the dna strands to be distributed properly they are condensed into chromosomes they are tightly packed into chromosomes all of those happen during prophase now the next stage is metaphase but between these two is another sub stage or sub phase called prometaphase or before meta metaphase by the way the term here pro means before or initial or beginning so before the metaphase so here the spindle fibers now attach to each of the chromosomes you will actually see this animated in those videos i recommended so you will see magically um, amazingly the spindle fibers will find their way into the chromosomes and then they will attach themselves to each chromosomes and then during metaphase and the term meta means middle in the middle um, all the chromosomes will now align um, in the middle okay so just like this one all the chromosomes will align at the middle okay so this is actually one of the easy easily recognizable stages of mitosis metaphase because you see all the cells aligned at the center so during metaphase the chromosomes align at the center so there's an equal distance of the spindle fibers on the opposite ends of the centrioles and then during anaphase the chromosomes will divide the centromeres will divide and now they are no longer one structure one chromosome but two sister chromatids so this one this one arm is a is a chromatid is a chromatid and then during anaphase the spindle fibers will pull them towards opposite poles towards opposite centrioles okay so the sister chromatids move to the opposite poles and then during telophase um, this one is actually the opposite of prophase so here um, the spindle fibers will disappear the chromosomes will decondense and then the nuclear membrane reform right? because during prophase the nuclear membrane actually disappears okay so so the nucleus is no longer confined by the nuclear membrane so it, it disappears in prophase but it reappears during telophase so those are the stages of cell division those are the stages of mitosis again mitosis is the division of the nucleus so pmat now the cell is not yet fully divided the cell will now undergo cytokinesis cytocell kinesis to move so here now that the nuclei there are now two nuclei the nucleus have divided into two now the cytoplasm will now divide and then eventually the cell membrane will now divide so the product would be two daughter cells with the same identical genetic information as its parent cell and now this daughter cell will now undergo gap one wherein it will grow in size 
S phase where in everything the DNA material will be duplicated so it will re it will have two copies and then gap two it will prepare any everything for cell division and then it will enter prophase again so this uh, diagram is a different presentation of uh, mitosis but they, they just talk about the same thing so again during prophase the chromosomes condense into into this structure the dna condense and they become visible the spindle fibers emerge from the um, centrosomes the nuclear envelope disappears and breakdowns and then the nucleolus disappears now um, between prophase and metaphase you will see there the chromosomes to continue continue to condense kinetochores appear at the centromeres and then the spindle fibers will attach to the chromosomes of the kinetochores of the chromosomes and then centrosomes will move the centromeres um, and the centrioles will move at the opposite ends of the cell now during metaphase very easy to recognize all the sp all the spindle fibers have equal length from the opposite pole and since they are pulling the chromosomes um, the chromosomes from opposite side they will be aligned at the center okay so metaphase the alignment of the chromosomes at the center okay and then anaphase the separation of the chromosomes so the spindle fibers will pull each uh, each chromatid towards the opposite um, uh, pole and then uh, at telophase um, everything will return so the nuclear and membrane will return the spindle fibers will disappear okay what else the chromosomes will not begin to decon decongest or decon decondense and then so these are the stages of mitosis and then it will be followed by cytokinesis or the division of of the actual cell of the cytoplasm and of the cell membrane so in and there's a, there's a difference in animal cells so here you will have the formation of the cleavage furrow okay so this is the this is the deepening of this part of the cell membrane until they meet here and then the cell membrane is now divided while in plant cell there will be um, uh, a formation of cell plate here in the middle okay so cytokinesis is the greek word for it's taken from the greek word uh, cyto which means cell that's why other term for cell biology is cytology and kinesis to move or motion to move so this is the process by which the cytoplasm of the eukaryotic cell is divided into two daughter cells so as you can see here um, there's a pinching pinching of the cell membrane and cytoplasm until these two cells separate so as you can see here this is one nucleus and another nucleus um, on, on opposite ends so this is what i was talking a while ago so there's a difference between cytokinesis of animal and plant cells so in animal cells there will be this formation of cleavage furrow okay so here just like that so there's this pinching of the cell membrane until they divide into two while in plant cell there will be a formation of so i hope you still remember that plant cells aside from cell membrane they also have cell wall so here there will just be a formation of a new cell wall okay a premature cell wall or cell plate until it's now in it's now it now divides into two new uh, daughter plant cells so what's the importance of mitosis so mitosis is very significant because one it maintains the chromosomal set of the parent cell okay now people uh, mitosis is performed by body cells okay so they are performed by skin cells brain cells um, uh, muscle cells um, uh, uh, smooth muscle cells or the or, or the muscles of your in of your um, gastrointestinal tract muscle pancreatic cells uh, liver cells so all all parts of your body and all the internal organs of your body except your um, testes or um, ovaries so it's important that the parent cell will only replace itself 
You only want brain cells to, to divide and create brain cells. You only want liver cells to divide and create new liver cells. You want skin cells to divide and create just skin cells. So it's important for parent cells to maintain the chromosomal set of their daughter cells to ensure that they are only replacing themselves because these are cell division of body cells. Okay? Each cell formed receive, receives chromosomes that are alike in composition and equal in number of the parent cell because again, they are just replacing themselves. In a course of a day, a lot of your cells uh, get destroyed. In a course of a week, you'll be able to replace some of your internal organs in, a, in two weeks, in six months. So all of those are only possible because of successful mitosis. So your body cells must perform this properly because they are just replacing themselves okay um there's actually um uh, a youtube uh, a video from corgisas perhaps i could mention it in google classroom we're in uh, it tells us how many the lifespan of all your internal organs and how how long it will take for the body to replace your liver to replace your lungs to replace your pancreas and your kidney I think I've already mentioned th that video in Human Anatomy and Physiology, if I'm not mistaken. So again, for mitosis, it is important to replace the parent cell with the same number of chromosome set for the daughter cells. So I recommend that you visit this uh, lesson from Khan Academy and Phases of Mitosis. I'll provide the link in the description below. And this is from Molecular Expressions, an animation of stages of mitosis very interesting to watch to, to to play around with i'll provide the link in the description below now <clears throat> everything that we've talked about we are assuming that mitosis went well it went as planned however that's not the case that's the reason uh, sometimes cell division goes wrong or the cells do not perform their function as as described or as intended that's why we have cancer cells okay so um this is actually the next unit cancer formation and this will explain what what could possibly um uh what could possibly the results if cell cells do not perform mitosis properly however the lecture pdf of this video of this the lecture pdf of this topic is already posted in Google in the online library so you can you can access it there that ends our video I hope you learned something new today don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and share this video till next time goodbye